Happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? It is Friday, June 10th. My name is Caroline. Welcome back, Daily Craft Chat. Whew. So, I am just going to put a few stitches into my sock while I visit with you. I'm taking a little bit of a coffee break from sewing and um, you may hear the odd, you may have noticed this over the last couple of days. I'm not sure if you have, because I, I didn't say anything, but we have a lot of hawks in this area. Um, and it just seems like, especially this year, there seems to be, have been an explosion in the hawk population. And for the last week, and in fact, it's just started to die down a little bit today. But for the last week, there have been three or four days where they screamed all day long. Um, and, and hawks shriek for various reasons, hunting, um, defending their territory. You know, I would assume that's how they, you know, they would call to their young as well. There's gotta be a nest or something nearby. Uh, there are a lot of them and uh, they're a bit noisy. And so <laughs> it reached a point yesterday where it was starting to drive me just a little bit crazy. <laughs> but um, it's quieted down a little bit today and, and it has become a little less frequent. So who knows what was going on? But in case you do hear that, that's, uh, that's what that is. So yes, I'm working on my sock. Just a little reminder that there is going to be a learn to knit sock along. This is going to uh, happen in the Facebook group that uh, Louise Patterson and I started in conjunction with the YouTube tutorials on learning how to knit a sock. And you can find those in the playlist section of this channel. And Louise's pattern is $5. And if you join up over on the Facebook group, uh, she is walking through all of the steps from start to finish of using her pattern, knitting a super simple cuff down sock. And so if you've always wanted to learn how to knit a sock, um, for the price of the pattern, you'll have access to, uh, Louise along the way. And, uh, she is a knitting teacher. So, and she's also, she's very, very patient which is probably one of my favorite things about Louise, because it doesn't matter what problem you're having. If, if it's, you know, a knitting problem, she gets her teeth into it and she, she's, she works at it until she helps you figure it out. So I can't say enough good things about Louise. If you have always wanted to learn how to knit socks, um, it's a great opportunity. So I will be, you know, popping in to help with the moderation of that group and uh, also posting my sock as we go. Because, I, you know, I don't think we're gonna finish it this weekend, but we'll go step by step along with Louise. And she's gonna be posting links to the videos as we go. So the name of the Facebook group is Learn to Knit Socks with Off the Grid Needle Arts and Wildflower Wool. I didn't give you the full title of the group yesterday. I did a terrible job. Um, and again, I'll, I'll put the exact name in the description box below this video in case you've had trouble finding. And then speaking of mystery stitch alongs, this is actually, I'm going to be doing this. Hopefully I can keep up. It's a small mystery stitch along that my friend Patty Brake from Newfoundland, um, she is four boys and an NL girl. And it is a Woodland Creatures mystery stitch along pretty fun and it's going to be starting on August 1st and it's going to run through September 15th 2020 so I will put up all of the information on that mystery stitch along that I have again in the description box below and I think it's five dollars let me see um, let me read you the information directly from Patty herself that would be more helpful wouldn't it I'll just find it here Okay, so Patty says, want to join me for something exciting? From August 1st to September 15th, 2020, 
I'm hosting a Woodland Creatures Mystery Stitch Along. This is a cross stitch stitch along. Luna's trying to get comfortable over there. This is a cross stitch style where you receive three patterns over the course of six weeks plus one bonus pattern at the end as my way of saying thank you for joining me on this journey. Each pattern is small and very achievable in the time allotted. The first half of the first pattern will be given in week one with the second half of the pattern in week two and so on. The cost is $5 Canadian. I think at the moment that's about $3 American, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, before July 20th, 2020, and $6 Canadian after midnight on July 20th, Newfoundland Standard Time. You can sign up under the Shop tab in my website. Uh, fingers crossed you'll join me there. I can't wait to share these cute patterns with you. So that's the Woodland Creatures Mystery Stitch Along uh, starting August 1st, and I will be joining in with that. I have seen the first design, and it's super cute. And that's the only hint you're going to get. <laughs> so I will post a link. I'll post a link directly to Patty's shop in the drop down box below. And then um, you can head over there. And I believe she should have all of the information on the actual listing itself. So, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. And what else? What else is going on this weekend? Oh, why yes. We're having a finish it up weekend over on the Friday off the grid Facebook group because I would really, really, really like to make a push to finish my ink circles, thread and eye mandala. So I've done, I haven't had a lot of time because I've been trying to uh, sew <laughs> over the last couple of days, but I have done a little bit more fill in in this area here. So I'm not starting as quite as far back as I was a couple of days ago. However, I still have a lot of work to do this weekend. So I'm going to be wrapping up my work at 6 p.m. tonight, eating a super quick, you know, sandwich over the sink because the family is back up at the cottage. So the house is quiet. Some floss tube queued up and maybe a little bit of Star Trek in there as well. So I'm starting at six o'clock tonight. And I'm, pl I'm planning to stitch until midnight. I had a really good night's sleep last night. And then starting tomorrow, I can't stitch all day tomorrow or Sunday because I really wanna have, I've decided to do the shop update on Monday. So I'm not gonna do that on Sunday because uh, the 16th, which is the day of my surgery, is Thursday. It's not Wednesday. So I feel like I've been given a whole extra day. So I'll have the shop update on Monday I will ship everything out on Wednesday. So that will allow me um, that extra day to, to maybe have a little extra time this weekend to try and finish this up. So that's the plan. So you can join us over on that Facebook group that's called Friday Off The Grid. And I have set up a separate event um, for the Finish It Up weekend. And I will also be posting a separate post where you can post your finishes. And I'm including things like finishing the stitching on a piece, FFOing something, um, a page finish on a heaven and earth design, or um, uh, even knitting projects. If you like, there are a lot of us who do multiple crafts and this is a finish it up weekend it's not just a cross stitch weekend so if you're finishing up a pair of socks or a hat or a cowl i mean i think it should be more than something like just casting off it should be a little bit more substantial amount of work that you actually have to do to finish something but something that's attainable um, by sunday by sunday evening i'll put up a separate post where you can post your finish a photo of your finish and some details on it and then um, I will pull a winner. Uh, I'll do a random number generator thing and I'll have a little prize on Monday morning for everyone who participates in that, just to make it fun, that's all. So my goal, and I, I think it's a lofty one because I know how long each one of these motifs takes me and there are still a fair number of them left. So I'm really going to have to put my focus hat on and take off my distracted Caroline hat and knuckle down and see if I can get it done. Because I would really love to have this finished. I 
I would just love to have this finished. That's the goal. That is the goal. It is so hot outside today. I think it's 40 degrees um, Celsius with the humidity, um, 40 degrees plus with the humidity and even just taking Luna outside for a recess break is, you know, she just kind of stands there and looks at me and, you know, she's got that face where she's sitting in the sun and her eyes are, are closed and she's just sort of sitting in the heat and we don't stay out for very long. It's just too hot. So, um, very much enjoying the air conditioning today. So I'm looking forward to doing some stitching tonight and all the good stuff. So I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to share today. I told you about the stitch along mystery stitch along for Patty and I told you about the sock knit along and um, yeah so I guess that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. I am planning to take a little bit of time off uh, from recording videos next week you know clearly because of I don't think anybody wants to follow me into the hospital. <laughs> But I, I should take a couple of days to, um, you know, get ready and pack up the business again and, and all of that stuff. So I, I suspect that probably Monday will be my last daily video for a little bit, which oh, I'm, I'm a little sad. But I have, I, I need, there, I need some time to get a few other things done. I'm going to take that week off afterwards to just rest up and then make the move to the cottage. So after Monday, I suspect the next time you'll see me, we'll be up north, off the grid. That's the plan anyway. I, I'm not sure. I don't like to ever box myself into a corner too much because then I, I seem to sabotage myself and do the exact opposite of what I said I was going to do. Anyone else do that? Anyway, I am almost on the cuff of my second sock, which seemed to just practically knit itself. It was kind of, I just love this yarn. Again, this is the Cozy Knitter. Uh, it was a Christmas colorway from a few years back and I bought it from my friend Dawn when she de-stashed it. So I'm really enjoying that. And I'm pretty sure I may have enough yarn left to make a little pair of shorty socks when mine are done. So I might make Sarah, she likes, she tends to like the, the sort of ankle socks. I might make Sarah a matching pair, maybe the Rose City Roller pattern. I've been meaning to try that pattern for a really long time, so perhaps I'll do that. I'm thinking there might be enough yarn left. There's still quite a bit, much more than I'd need for one, just one sock, so, okay. That's it. I will, uh, as always, pop in a few of your whips here at the end, which I love to see. Thank you again so much for sharing those with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great night. Feel free to join us on the Friday Off The Grid group. Feel free to join us and try to finish up something this weekend. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>